Kollege hat diesen Engländer jetzt schon einige Stunden gefordert. Aber er redet immer noch nicht. Ja. So was habe ich noch nie gesehen. Irgendwann hat Jäger jeden soweit. Au. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Restart the latest checkpoint. <laughs> I'm just trying to get my overcharge thing. But there's fucking heavy armored dudes. Yeah, there you go. Got the health upgrade. At the cost of what, Gom? At the cost of what? Nothing. I can handle myself up in this little vent. It's probably not advisable. But I can do it. We need backup! Oh, desperately so do we need a backup! The headshots, they are too real! So real that our men are, in fact, really dying! Oh, look, they've got some food. I should be able to eat that entire shelf. And overcharge from that. Oh, well, that's one commander down. Greetings, commander! Whoop! There goes your throat! Yeah. Oh, not so bad. Considering I was detected pretty early on. What do we got? I can't read any of that. Oh, more health. But I don't need it now. <laughs> I got my health perks because I focused it down as early as possible. Alright, so that leaves me with many things, but I'm totally fine with getting them through normal usage. Apparently I can get more fucking uh, clip size for my bolt rifle if I just kill people. Same with the fucking shotgun. I don't need quick turn. In fact, I would actually really actively avoid it. Kill three enemies with one grenade. Increase the amount of grenades you can carry by two. That sounds pretty useful. But first, I'd have to get enemies in an area where I can kill them like that. Uh, pipe head explosions. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Do I make someone's head explode by smacking them with the pipe? Do I stab them with the pipe? Do I even have anything on it? Yeah, I don't have anything on it yet. Hmm. We'll find out soon enough. All right, where am I going? Uh, over there. Or not. Ah! I had to climb back up onto the area up top. Got you. Well, I was just trying to be thorough. I wonder if I could have gotten through this area without alerting anybody. Probably not. You'd be able to see someone just casually going along these fucking wooden beams easily. But what if I avoided their patrol patterns properly? Wouldn't have happened. Okay. God damn it. <laughs> not only, not only did I completely fuck up that jump because the roof is right above me. I lost some health too. Ridiculous. Alright. This is like one of those mazes, except you can't see from the top of it, so good luck. How am I gonna do this? Oh, fucking by just going straight to the exit rather than trying to do some other thing. Huh. I figured that maybe there was a connecting path and I had to follow the vents completely or the, the beams completely. Nope. Alright, pull out the pistol. Just in case. What are you looking at? Punk. Hmm. I wish to stab this guy. I will wait for him to come down this hallway.
I'll wait until he starts going back down the hallway. And then stab him. With his back turned. Alone in this room, huh? And what is it you were saying about an upside-down book? Obviously, that's a secret entrance! Ha ha ho! Neat! <laughs> you know, he wouldn't even even had to have mentioned that. I probably would have grabbed it on my own. Oh. He threw a knife at it. Or threw a knife in this general vicinity. Ew. Surely the Nazis are capable of creating fucking toilet technology. Although this is an old castle, I'll give him that. Alas, poor Yurik. <laughs> Oops. Oops. <laughs> All right, what do we got? Ingrid's letter. Uh, Rudy, my sweet boy. What happened to her? Rudy, my sweet boy, I wish you could have taken the time to visit your poor old mother. Ah, it's his mom. This Christmas. Maybe you were busy. What do I know? When you were little, you were such a good boy. Such a good son. I honestly feel, and maybe I should have told you this, that I was blessed to have you and ha have had you in my life. I know your father could be cruel. Very cruel to you sometimes, but that's all in the past now, isn't it? Best not to dwell on such things. And besides, I was always there to nurse your wounds to stave off infections, so I think it's only unfair of you to blame me for what he did. You know, he only meant to correct you, and sometimes, frankly, it was all in his right to do so. Why, you were a good son most of the time. You could also be very, very bad when that dark mood fell upon you. I'm sure you also understand why your father had to use his belt. My dear boy, you know how I feel, uh, fell upon hard times after your father died and had to send you away to your cousins on Frankfurt? Well, now that you are so successful with the SS, I was thinking you could send me some money. Oh boy, I know this. I'm not asking for much, my dear, but it would, it would ease the pain that comes with growing old alone. I gotta go back down, not up. Your loving mother, Ingrid. Pff, yeah, throw that shit in the fire. Hey there, little doom doll. But, seriously. <laughs> hey, can you give me some money? Please. More money? Can you give me more money? Oh, the ye. Is this foreshadowing? I don't know, I was down there before. Okay. Let's see what goes on in the secret entrance. Ooh. Holy shit. This is a lot of items. Namely, ammo and armor. Note from a scholar of King Otto. Here is the translation you asked for, Frau Oberstummer. I have so far applied all of my skills to deciphering the confusing translation bestowed to me by the king's linguistic scholars. Many of King Otto's parchments were badly damaged, scorched by fire, and missing complete paragraphs that seemingly contained crucial information. Also, my work has been slowed down considerably by utter, utterly dis dismal test conditions in these dungeons. However, during the last month, I have been making enormous strides in my research. The bodily fluid circulating within a human can be altered with an alchem uh, alchemical substance, which is, uh, uh, which is partially described in one of the text fragments. In theory, I should be able to create a serum which can awaken dead tissue. This would allow wounded soldiers to be healed in the middle of battle. However, as a fascinating side effect, one of the test subjects died from the uh, alchemical compound. And when I went to pull the sheet over his body, he opened his eyes. The subject had remarkably returned from death. Thus far, I have been successfully brought back. Uh, thus far, I have successfully brought back five test subjects back to life. I have observed that the subjects returning from death enter a catatonic sleep-like state. Furthermore, the body temperature of the subjects increases dramatically. I have even seen some of them spontaneously burst into flames from the accumulated, uh, accumulated internal heat. Another unfortunate side effect is that they become gripped by a murderous frenzy, when it, which it never seems to never wane. The only way to permanently kill them seems to be destroying the brain, or to hack them into little pieces. I have started calling them shamblers because of how they move. 
More experimentation is needed. As soon as I get my reinforced straps for the dis dissection table, I shall attempt a vivisection on one of them. I knew it! I knew it! Zombies! Fucking occult zombies! It's gonna happen. Nazi zombies. They're gonna bring the dudes back to life, and I'm gonna have to shoot all of them in the goddamn head, because, surprise, fucking bring them back to- No! Oh, God dog, 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 zombie dog. Not a zombie dog, it's a regular dog. Sollte dieser Kamin nicht schon letzte Woche repariert werden? Mist. Diese hirnverbrannten Idioten können nichts richtig machen. Zombies are just bad news. Sounds like your average Nazi to me. Oh, you know, it could have been worse. Pipe could have, like, better your head or something. But nope, it just kind of brought you down. So wait. Over here was just a side entrance to that other area. Okay. This is where we gotta go, then. Break open the way. Force our way through. Oh. Helga's Diary. Entry number four. December. My god, how it's snowing outside. The stone corridors of this castle are freezing cold. Have to wear thick, warm socks every day. They're comfortable, but a terrible itch sets in after a while. Got back the translation of another passage from King Otto's diary today. Very interesting. The king is grief-stricken after his wife, Edgith, or Queen Edgith, died unexpectedly. It's probably not Edgith. It's probably Edgith. That sounds more feminine. Edgith. Or we're going to say Edgith. Eddie. <laughs> Queen Eddie. Queen Eddie died unexpectedly. He goes on to write about ancient fragments of parchments that have come into his possession. He has put his most prominent scholars on the task of deciphering them. Despite not knowing their contacts, he believes them to be a gift from God, and that the Lord is telling him to his destiny is to become the Holy Emperor of Europe. Puzzling. They must have looked really special, these parchments. Or maybe it's the grief taking over, blinding him. Anyway, went to the wine cellar earlier today, found a 1928 Badu. A very good year, I've heard. Time to taste. <laughs> she- I like how almost all- like, half of her documents, or almost all of them, just involve her talking about wine. Good job, Helga. Whoops. <laughs> there we go. I fucking throwing knife the wall instead of hitting it. And it worked anyways. Partially. Im Amazonas Dschungel auf sich allein gestellt war? Mit ihrem Bein? Wie kann man so etwas überleben? Mit einem wilden Ausschlag. Scheiße. <lacht> curious! Yes! Very curious! Wow! Dude, your buddy that you were literally just having a conversation with is dead next to your legs. You just don't give a fuck. There you go. Have a nice nap with him. Wow. <laughs> I can understand sometimes not making enemies react because that would be frustrating to the player, but damn. That was hardcore. Ah! Shut up! I tried to blow him up! I tried to blow him up, but he wasn't up there. Okay, we don't need pistols. We need assault rifles! And constant amount of American fury! Well, technically it's German fury because I'm using their weapons against them. But an American's pulling the triggers! Come on, send more! 20 more! 30 more! I'll handle them all! No, that's it. Well, okay. I'm cool with that too. I could be doing a better job stealthing. I could take it more seriously. Or I could just rush through and kill everything. Oh. Somehow I can get up there. Ooh. Or through there. And then come in from the other side. I'd like to do that. So it looks like I might drop down from the top. Let's try that out. We'll go upstairs. Find the secret entrance.
I tried to shoot the skull. <laughs> I don't know how old those skulls are. Are they new or did the Nazis redecorate the place a little bit? I mean, they do have their flags up everywhere. Uh, we have an entrance up here, but that's kind of where I have to go. And generally, when you go the correct way, you kind of end up leaving forever. And I don't want that. I want to find a secret entrance. So far, there's nothing really here. So maybe I will just go the correct way. Alright, correct way. Lead me to the secret way! Aha! Look at that. Neato. And then I can drop down from there. Probably not worth it. But fuck it, right? You found a secret area! Is there gold? It's a sleeping thing! Uh-oh! Remember that from the other game? New order! I have reverted into the past! Ho oh ho! I must deal with the Nazis of the past! My own horrors! Alright, I have to be mindful of secrets. Walls that might look different. Oh, he didn't die immediately. I'm not used to that. I'm used to headshots just killing as soon as possible. Or maybe Führers without mustaches. Do you need to be more ammo? Thank you. Oh, those are not for my assault rifle, so it's kind of me. Alright, secret, 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 secret! Normal way? Yeah! How do they give me throwing knives? Because I'd be a big fan of that. I can't pull out dual pistols, though. <laughs> I like these little segments. And just showing this big contrast. Like, I can aim at their various different parts. I can do that in the past. Oh, shit. Well, maybe I won't blow up. Nope, that's not working out. Okay. That's really weird. I can't blow any of those up. But they totally look like they can get detonated. Or I just walk in between them? <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to go through them. What the fuck? I can see that there are items right there. Okay, you know what? Fuck that room. Fuck it, secrets. It's bullshit. Obviously not meant for my mortal eyes. Or Hitler's. Woo. Well, at least I got some overcharge. Health upgrades! That, that are gone by the time I get around the corner. I wonder if I'll have to fight Hitler in this. Although, eh, I don't know. Hello? Uh oh. I should actually just hit fire. I can emulate the simulation. Or, emulate the simulation. <laughs> I can emulate what it was like in the past. Ow. There are way too many goddamn ropes. I have no idea where I'm going. I have no map. Wait. I have a map of where I've been. That's good. That's a solid plus. I killed the unaware guy! Now he can't suddenly turn around and kill me while I'm turning around and killing everybody else. You know, I wonder if the map will reveal any secret areas. You know, like, say... Around here? No, no. Nothing so far. Although it would be interesting. Holy shit. Oh, it's silver. Why do I need this? And why is there an entire room dedicated to it? Also, I think I'd prefer gold. Gold sells for more. Generally. Man, 
so many Nazis! They hurt so bad! But not as bad as in the future. Future Nazis are the worst. Oh, Jesus Christ. Trying to get around these barrels is a nightmare. I can't even blow them up, which makes me sad because I, I'm sure that maybe they had a purpose in the past. Oh, oh boy. I need a key card to get to there, but at least we found the exit. So exit's at the bottom right, which means we have to explore this other left part of the map. A map. Map, I'm sorry for neglecting you. <laughs> I will make my way post haste. At least the guys don't respond. Yeah. Oh god! <laughs> Sprite dogs, man! The worst kind of Nazi dogs! Well, that wasn't so bad. Just a room full of fucking Nazi dogs. And only three of them. So I guess it wasn't even really full. Alright, so that leaves... THIS area left. Because there's no exit on this side. Maybe the... Maybe the green barrels aren't supposed to be able to be destroyed. Maybe I just have, like, modern gamer expectations. Barrels equal explosions. I mean, they fucking equal explosions in the main game! So... It's not like the series has an aversion to explosions. Ugh. Something is fucky. I keep going into all these dead-end rooms with no real purpose to them. There's gotta be something wrong with one of them that allows me to go through a wall or open a Hitler picture because I found multiple secret rooms when we went through the dreams last time. Uh oh. Do none of you have keys? Were you not trusted at all to ever leave this place? Jesus, Nazis! Maybe the ominous room at the end of this hallway that has Nazi flags on both sides means something. Uh oh! Well, it wasn't doing an SMG. Or an assault rifle. Hey! Big giant key! There you go! Alright! Now I can go back to blasting Nazis with my assault rifles. But maybe there's more to this level. I mean, we still have some bits to explore at this top right area. Why not? Oh. I keep, like, pressing M because I'm just trying to, like, make sure I know where the hell I'm going. But maybe I'm not supposed to be over here. Yeah? Hey! More Assault Rifle Dudes! So I guess I just lucked out and avoided meeting them. Until I finally found my, uh... The key I needed. That's funny. And yes, I know I just passed up a minigun. But that would've made me slow. And I don't want to be slow in this place. I want to be running fast! That's what it was like in the day- oh, the olden days of Doom and Wolfenstein and Quake. Gotta go fast. Gotta kill fast. Can't waste time. I rub my face and everything and press E. Never jump, ever. Look how low these ceilings are. Well, at least I'm getting a little bit of health. Not so much armor. Alright, 
So there's one last place for me to check out, and that's at this top right area. I wish I had a mini-map that I could bring up so I didn't have to keep on pressing M and pausing the game. I guess to be fair, I could always just try to memorize the map, but, I mean, if we're only gonna be here for a few seconds, a few minutes, there's no real point. <laughs> I've got the drop on you, friend! Who else is around here? No one. This is a surprise! Uh-oh. Nazi dogs. Oh! There was one last guy! But he was too far away to get to me. <laughs> Well, a room with skulls in it is not ominous at all. What about a room with Nazis? Nope. Nope. Still no Nazis, that's actually kind of a surprise. You'd figure there'd maybe be one guy in here. Maybe he made one of his cells... A, uh, an office room. Right? Cause he's all fucked up since he's a Nazi and he wants to hear the screams of the prisoners while he works. It's kind of like relaxing music to him. But no. Nothing like that. Just a bunch of skulls and skeletons. Oh gosh. Bodies decay the fastest in Nazi prisons! Well, at least I have a reason to eat all these things. I was like, yeah, I don't need to overcharge. Oh, poor dude. And I still know, but I do need to restore my health occasionally. I think that's it. We've explored pretty much every non-secret inch of the area. All right. And I must make my way back down to the bottom right. Oh. Oh, I found one secret! And it just gives me a bunch of health. God damn it. <laughs> I kind of was just sitting there going, Ah, that wall that I'm running by. That kind of looks like it could be pressed in. <gasps> it can be pressed in. I don't need health. I need to leave. I don't even think I'm at the right place yet. I am even at the completely wrong area. Please tell me there's an exit down here. Eh. God damn it. Alright. A key to what? Just an elevator? Just an elevator. That's okay. That's understandable. I've made it through the dream. Whew. Wolfenstein Keep Nightmare. Is it really a nightmare? If it was all real, I don't know. <laughs>